Out in Los Angeles, fans expected a banner season after a 2-0 start, but the Express has slipped to 4-5, and, and rookie Tom Ramsey gets the nod from Hugh Campbell, who's made up his mind to bench Mike Ray. Boston's Dick Corey sticks with Johnny Walton, but Alvin Burleson plays stick him up with an early Walton pass. Ramsey makes the crime pay off, along with accomplice Chris Haynes. Walton decides a shotgun is the best way to prevent further theft, and Frank Lockett stumbles into enemy turf. Lockett's catch keys an early field goal, and L.A.'s offense can't get on the board. Walton, the league's most prolific passer of late, is still riding shotgun. Corey's message is to let Dick Crump do it, and do it he does. Ramsey's looking to turn around the eight-point breaker lead, but the Boston Brain Trust is looking to pile it on. A third down sack of Ramsey by Daryl Wilkerson threatens to change the backup status of Mike Ray. Ramsey's down with a bruised Achilles tendon, and Boston's Corey would like his offense to add insult to injury. But just when it seems the breakers are ready to lower the boom, Walton hands off to Anthony Steeles, who has it stolen by the L.A. defense. Wyman Henderson's scoop leads to an easy touchdown, and just like that, it's a one-point game. Ramsey's heel doesn't, and now trailing by four with less than a minute left, Mike Ray comes back to search for Boston's Achilles. A Cinderella story is in the works, and Tony Bodie is the one Ray turns to as the clock approaches midnight. Bodie's grab leaves two dozen seconds to score, but L.A. gets caught with a dozen men on the field and is sent back to the six. Undeterred, Ray guns a game winner to Chris Haynes, and Corey suffers his third straight heartbreak. L.A. jumps into sole possession of first place in the packed Pacific race. And now with a 5-5 five five mark, the Express finally seems to be getting Coach Campbell's point.